Hey everyone, it's me. I want to talk about why. And this question arises in situations such as estrangement, when a biological father or mother takes a child from a parent and then writes their own narrative about the parent they removed that child from, or when parents write a certain narrative about why their children aren't allowed to have relationships with their grandchildren. Or sorry, why their children aren't allowed to have relationships with their grandparents, or in certain cases, are told that their grandparents are no, no longer living. And with the magic of the internet, or DNA testing, a lot of people submit to 23andMe and are able to locate lost family members. And the biggest question when a child or a grandchild has been removed from a parent or a grandparent and they eventually meet their grandparents is why. Why was I denied the opportunity to get to know my mom, my dad, my grandpa, my grandma, my, my extended family, etc. And that will eventually emerge. The reason I know it emerges is because there's always someone in the family that is attached to these children or grandchildren that spills the beans. And when an estranged adult child has a falling out with a family member or rubs someone the wrong way, and they don't know they've rubbed that person the wrong way. Sometimes there's at a family party, family reunion, someone will say, hey, to these children, do you know you have a grandma out there? Do you know there's a grandpa? You know, your dad is living not too far from here. Someone always spills the beans. But when it comes to DNA testing, <laughs> there's always a way to find out if you have siblings out there. Uh, extended family, a grandparent, an aunt, an uncle, mom, dad, etc. So it's, it's, I just want to say I was very fortunate to have had two very loving grandmothers who just, they were angels. <laughs> and although I was not particularly close with my mother, because I was probably more like my father. I can say I was blessed to have relationships with my grandmothers, who were some of the most amazing people you'd ever meet. They are no longer here with us, and it's saddening, and that's the way life goes. But I was blessed with the opportunity to know my grandparents and my family and extended family and a whole multitude of cousins and aunts and uncles. And the other day I went to the VA and there was a woman standing outside the door and I knew who she was and she knew who I was and it was my cousin. My, my cousin whose husband is a veteran and so it was just by chance once in a while I run into a cousin. It's kind of funny but... I was fortunate to have gotten to know and to have been allowed to know my extended family. But I just want to say when the children of estranged adult children grow up and find out they have family out there, family history, people that can fill in the blanks and talk about when their mom or dad was little and what they like to eat and what they like to do and just fill in all the funny stories they can about, you know, their childhood, you know, their parents' childhood. I think it's a, such a great thing. So even though I don't know my grandchildren, if we ever connect, um, I have a letter that was written by my youngest daughter and her husband after I, did, I was at the VA and I learned how to knit and I knit, I, I learned I had two grandchildren and, and I knitted a blanket for my oldest grandchild, a little girl, and then the second one was a boy, so I knitted a boy's 
you know, blanket, crib size blanket. I think it was larger than a crib size blanket, but I don't know. And so I mailed it out. It wasn't returned initially. <laughs> and then I went to this estate sale and I found a lot of these vintage little tykes toys and they're really cool and they're very sturdy. So I mailed out two big boxes and within a certain amount of time, everything was returned. And I received a letter that said, we know you're trying to reach out. Something about please respect our privacy and do not contact us again. And it was signed by my daughter and her husband and it came certified. So I had to sign for it. And I, I have the letter and I saw it the other day. It was written in 2018. So it's been a number of years. And I just want to say that my daughter and her husband had that right. And they have the right to choose who their children have relationships with. But eventually these children are going to grow up and ask why. And more than less likely, there will be hard feelings. Why did you deny me the opportunity to spend time with my grandma, who absolutely would love me and, and read to me and teach me things? <laughs> <laughs> and and most important be that on the family tree there's her leaf that's my grandma so I just want to say if my daughters ever chose to return and I ever got the opportunity to meet my grandchildren we could start anew and wouldn't have to answer too many questions because they're very little and we can move on and hopefully have a healthy relationship so that's what I want to say is to those grandparents out there who are being denied the opportunity to spend time with their grandchildren, just know one day they will ask their own parents why. And if things aren't healed up before too long, it may cause a rift. And that's not, you know, that's not something that is your responsibility to fix. But all we can do is move on and look forward to the future and and enjoy the people we are currently spending time with and have reciprocal relationships with. So I hope this helps and I hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.